All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, look, another GMS on the go. Back with another lesson. First and foremost, for saying that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, yeah. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, yeah. Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, yeah. Rakaq yeah. Next, most definitely, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Look, just a pretty much just a reminder that the Lord is controlling everything. All right? Ain't no need of us bugging the hell out, panicking. You know, hey, look, just, just follow, pretty much follow the protocol, you know? Hey, um, bro, give me, um, I got the brother Ara with me. Shalom, shalom. I'm the brother Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Just want to constantly um, keep throwing that energy out there that the Lord is controlling everything, you know? Everything. Everything. So it ain't no need of us even really worrying about nothing. The, the Lord got, why, why worry about something you can't control? Let the Lord worry about that. You just worry about pleasing your how about Shimei was shining. Everything else is going to be to the good. Give me um, Proverbs um, 3 and 5, bro. All right. We we'll just bring that out right quick because ain't no need to bugging yourself out. See, it's a transition of power. Yep. And anytime it's a transition of power, things are going to feel funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to get nervous. There's a transfer of power happening right about them. You got one power structure going down, then you got another one, you know what I'm saying, coming up. You know, so it's going to bring friction. It's going to bring tension. That's going to bring violence. That's what the Lord is bringing. He said, I come not to send peace on the earth, but destruction or sword. Go ahead. All right. Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. With all your mind. And we got to constantly pray too. Constantly trust in your how, but Shemel Shah with all your mind. Everything that you see going on, constantly remind yourself that it's the Lord's doing. No matter what it is, from the coronavirus to the AIDS, you know what I'm saying, to the H1N1, to the SARS, to the police brutality, and we're going to bring out scriptures just proving that too. And bro, hold on deck, you know what I'm saying, um, Amos 3, Amos 3 and 6, you know, and then and then that Deuteronomy, you know what I'm saying, um, 32, uh -huh. yeah, you know, and um, if you can, um, that Psalm 68, but we'll just go through them. Yeah, all the issues of death, everything, it don't, look, a sparrow don't fall out of the sky unless the Lord sanction it. Right. What does it say again, bro? It says Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart mm -hmm. and lean not unto thine own understanding. But the scriptures tell you, you know, saying in um, Psalms, the 18th chapter, all the ways that you have by Shemel Shah are perfect. You know, the Lord is making moves. You know, we ain't going to understand everything that the Lord is doing. The Lord doing things behind the scene that don't, don't none of us see anyway. The Lord is making moves. He said he created the end from the beginning. So the movie director had already wrote the script out. We just pray to you how about Shemel Shah that we, we're in the part of the movie where we receive blessings, we receive mercy, we receive salvation with everything that's coming up. Because, hey, look, man, Ezekiel 3, um, Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. But then it also comes back in Psalms 34, I'm thinking 6 and 7. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, mm -hmm. and delivered him out of all his trouble. And the angels encamped around about them that mm -hmm. fear the Lord. Lord, when we continue to fall up under that category, you know? Right. It's, it's some more to that, bro. Um, it says, um, and lean not into thy own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your mind and lean not into thy own understanding. The Lord is making moves. Just comply with everything that you have by Shemel Shah is putting in your head to comply with. Just keep pushing his words to the best of your ability. Be brotherly. Pray to you have by Shemel Shah. Because look, all these things must come to pass. The Lord said all the wars, rules of wars, uproars of the people, earthquakes, all these things must come to pass. So more, bro. Yep. Verse six. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Right, get bro, get um Psalms 115 right quick in mm -hmm. three. You know. The Lord put one down and he bringing another one up. We're gonna get that too. All right. Go ahead. Yep. Psalm 115 and eleven. Three. Slaki and three. But our power is in the heavens. Right. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. See, look, so we got to always constantly remind ourselves everything that's going on is being ordained by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They're up in the heavens controlling everything. They're the true puppet masters, okay? 
No one's on earth doing their own thing, okay? It's not an individual, a single man out there just can doing that, whatever the hell he want to do. No. The Lord is controlling every individual. Every individual is being controlled by the God of the Bible. You have by Shem Yahweh Shai. Proverbs 20, 24 tell you that. Man goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And that makes life a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. We know that it's a power, a divine intervention, and that's what we're going to need. Controlling everything, look, that's, that um, lifts to the load, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't worry yourself to death. Let the Lord, let the Lord worry, man. Which he ain't worried anyway. Going right back to trust. We just read that. Read it again, bro. Yep. The book of uh, Proverbs 115 and 3. But our power is in Psalms. The, sorry, the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 3. Right. But our power is in the heavens. Right. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. That's right. And, 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 and that's the point. Bro, go to, go to Isaiah 45 right quick, bro. Huh. 45 and 7. You know, the, the Lord said, my counsel shall stand. We're going to get that next. Mm -hmm. Abba Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. Yep. I form the light and create darkness. Right. I make peace and create evil. Look, look. He makes peace and creates evil. The bad time that's going on is being ordained by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai now. The God of the Bible, whether you live or die. Get sick, get hit by a car, fall off a train rail and get shocked to death. You know what I'm saying? Some eagles come down, poke your eyes out. No matter what happens, man, you know, no matter what happens, it's being ordained by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. What does it say again, bro? It says, Isaiah 45, <clears throat> 45 and 7. Right. I form the light and create darkness. Right. I make peace. Right. And create evil. The Lord creates peace. You ain't got to do all that marching, snuffing mm. up and down the street, looking all crazy, busting windows and all. You ain't got to do all that to make peace come. The Lord said, if it's going to come, look, I'm, I'm going to bring peace. Mm. If it's going to be peace on earth, it's going to come through me. If it's going to be war, it's going to come through me. I'm putting the spirit on these different nations to, to do these um, tactical drills, you know, and these military drills and things of like that, the launching of missiles and all that. I'm doing all that. Mm. Is, that's why we bet off serving and fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. What that last part say, bro? It says, I make peace and create evil. Right. I, the Lord, do all these things. That, look, that's what he put a stamp on it. He let us know right there in that scripture alone, that one verse, everything that you see going on, he wrapped up 360. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it all. I, the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, do all these things. That's why we got to be thankful that he even gave us this knowledge. Mm -hmm. He even put, keep putting the spirit. We woke up with the fear of the Lord on us this morning mm -hmm. to serve him to the best of our ability. And we constantly pray to be forgiven for our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings, man. And then you move on and you keep serving the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. um, what else do we have, bro? We have um, the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Yeah, get that Deuteronomy right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Right. See now that I, even I, am he. Right. And there is no power with me. That's right. It'll mean it ain't nobody else controlling nothing. Ain't nobody, remember, ain't nobody else controlling nothing, brothers. I tell myself that every day. The Lord is controlling everything. That's who I need to fear. The Lord said that. Fear not them that can take the body, but are not able to take the soul, but rather fear him. He can take both body and soul. Like he can take that body, fucking erase it from off the face of the earth, send that spirit back down in another body, torture it, make you a paraplegic, do whatever you want to. The potter has power over the clay. Right. Go ahead. It says you want to chime in, or Raphael free, bro. Con. Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine. See now that I, even I, am He. Right. And there is no power with me. That's right. I kill and I make alive. Right. Look, look. He kills and he makes alive, man. All right? Go ahead. I wound and I heal. Right. The, the Lord can either wound you or heal mm -hmm. you. Or he can wound you and then right, come right back and heal you. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right. So, and look, everything that's going on is being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. You want to mm -hmm. step under the good graces mm -hmm. of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabbat, Ratazah, man. 
You know, Lord willing, the Lord will show mercy, man. Lord willing, man. Mm -hmm. That's what we pray for. We pray for mercy, man. We're seeking salvation ourselves. Mm -hmm. We ain't made it yet. Yep. You know? Um, bro, before you get that, can you get um Sirach 3916? Huh. Yeah, get Sirach 3916. You got two apocryphs. Oh, yep. Yep. Huh. Transition. Yeah, man. Just sitting here, just, you know what I'm saying? Just woke up like, yo. And don't need to be worried about nothing. You know I'm saying the Lord controlling everything anyway. Why, why worry about something that you ain't got no control over anyway? Mm -hmm. You know, just concentrate on the Lord. You got enough light, bro? Yeah, I got enough light. You said uh, Sirach 32 and 19? Um, Sirach um, 39 and 16. 39 and 16. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you get it, read it. Yep. The book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 16. Right. It says, all the works of the Lord are exceeding good. See, look, all the works. Mm -hmm. You might not understand that, though. You know, you seeing all these people get thrashed, you know what I'm saying, mangled, tangled up, you know what I'm saying, put their death, you know, all the works. Look, then you know everything's perfect. The Lord is perfect in all his deeds. What did it say again, bro? Uh, Sirach 39 and 16. All the works of the Lord are exceeding good. Right, all the works of the Lord. It ain't no flaws, man. I know. Sleazy E said it was some flaws in your how about Shemel Shai's work. Look, this scripture right here cuts all that. Ain't no flaws. Right. Everything that's happening, it ain't no mistakes, man. It's meant to happen, man. Right. Everything that's happening right about now, it's meant to happen. Go ahead. And whatsoever he commanded. And look, bro, don't that give you comfort, though? Mm -hmm. To know that everything that you see going on right about now is right. supposed to happen. It ain't like, why is this happening? That won't <laughs> supposed to happen. Why, why That won't supposed to happen that way. Man, it's supposed to happen that way, man. Right. You know, and that makes you fear. And that com that's, that's comforting, though, man. I know, right? To know that everything that happened in your life is supposed to happen. Ain't no, mm -hmm. I wish I wouldn't have did that. I, I, and then you can't say that. But it wants you controlling that. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. And then look, then the phone chimed in. Right. The phone chimed in <laughs> on that, man. Yep. The Lord, the Lord, um, the Lord, um, yeah, the, you, you just said that right. You, you, you did right on that. Uh, Go ahead. Yep. It says, uh, read it on. And whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished. Wow. Mm -hmm. In due season. See, it's a time and a season for every purpose mm -hmm. under the heaven. You go right back to Ecclesiastes. You got winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yep. You got peace. You got love, you got war, you got hate. Whenever the Lord wanted to happen, it's going to happen, yep. man. You know, that's a bad scripture right there. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just added that scripture to the arsenal. Huh. I just added that scripture <laughs> to the arsenal. You know what I'm saying? You huh. know? Um, what, what you got, bro? I'm holding on to that Amos 3 and uh, 6. Bro, get um Lamentations right quick. Mm -hmm. Lamentations, we'll we get that next. Get Lamentations 2 and 17. Because we're going to wrap it up. I just want to bring out some scriptures through the spirit of how about Shemiah Shai just basically showing that, hey, look, the Lord do what he want to do. We most definitely got to um, bring out that Daniels, though. Uh, that Daniels um, 4. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll bring that out. They'll bring that Daniels 4, and then we'll bring one more out, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Go ahead. Lamentations 2 and 11, uh, it's like a 2 and 17. Right. The Lord have done that which he hath devised. See, uh, look, the Lord have done that which he devised, man. His plans, man. Uh -huh. You know? Pretty much you're going to that word devise is really going into like a person's plans. Uh -huh. You know? What they're thinking about doing, you know? When you devise a plan that's you coming up in your own thoughts of what uh -huh. you want to happen, man. Uh -huh. You have but Shemiah Shah already devised his plans. His plans will stand. Uh -huh. You know? It reads. Do we ever bring out that one? No, we're gonna. We'll, uh, as soon as you finish that, right there, bro. We get. We must be allowed to bring out Isaiah forty six and ten. Uh, Read that again, bro. Yep. It says, uh, "Lamentations two and seventeen. The Lord hath done that which He had devised." Wow. It says He hath fulfilled His word. Right. That He had commanded in the days of old. Look, look, mm -hmm. look, look. Declared the end from the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled his words from days of old, man. Right. Whatever the prophet said, you know what I'm saying, over thousands of years ago, look, the, the Lord performed it mm -hmm. and still performing it. You know? Yep. Everything that's written up in this Bible, you know what I'm saying, everything's going to come to pass. Everything. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, look, um, Samuel, 1 Samuel 2 and 6, the mm -hmm. Lord said, I killeth. I'm making for life. I wound, I heal. Mm -hmm. All that, man. 
If I lift my glory and sword, you know what I'm saying? He's going to lay vengeance mm -hmm. upon his adversaries. All that's going to happen. The Lord is going to fulfill all his words. The Lord said, look, I'm going to deliver mine elect. He's going to deliver the elect, that's man. Right. That's right. Lord, one of be part of that whole phenomenon. The Lord said, I'm going to kill two-thirds. He's going to kill two-thirds. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, these heathens are going into captivity. These heathens are going into captivity. Right. It is what it is. Ain't nobody stopping nothing, man. Get in line. That's the only thing I can say through the spirit of your house about Shemel Shai. Get in line. Because the, the Lord get ready to steamroll these people, man. He said it. I didn't say it. I just read it. That's right. What else, bro? That was it on that? It's a little bit more. It says... He had fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. Right. He had thrown down and have not pitied. Right. So when the Lord tear a person down, tear a nation down, what are you going to cry about? Right. He's fulfilling his will, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Just like if you build, you got some Lego blocks, you know what I'm saying? You build it up or you got some, um, what's some damn things, man? Dominoes mm -hmm. or um, sand castle. Mm -hmm. You build it up, you knock it down. I mean, you, didn't, you, you built the sand castle. Right. You stack the Legos. Who the hell gonna say something to you? Mm -hmm. Everything, everything is by design. You know. Mm -hmm. You have by Shimei Abishai. You know what I'm saying? Created everything. The Heavenly Father gave His only begotten Son the blueprint. Everything was created perfect. Everything was created through wisdom. Mm -hmm. So it's like the Lord gonna do whatever the hell He wanna do. Right now. Get um, get that Daniel right quick, bro. Huh, Daniel four and seventeen. Four and seventeen. Come. Let I me. Mean, it's a whole lot of scriptures that we're gonna bring up, but we're gonna in the process of time. Huh. Go ahead. Let me get it right quick. Yeah, Daniel four and seventeen. We just thankful that you have, but Shemel Shai still got a spirit on us to even do lessons and. The Lord said, look, look, Second Peter's um, 3 and 9, the Lord said, look, he's not slack concerning his promise, mm -hmm. as some men count slackness. You know? Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it's all good. Daniel 4 and 17. Right. All right. It reads. And just, I just want to throw that out there. The triumph under the wicked is short. Mm -hmm. All right. His days are already numbered. Yep. His months, his years, his seconds are already determined. Through the spirit of your but Shemel was shy. The, the heavenly father already know he's gonna bring this devil down. Mm -hmm. We don't need to we don't need to really worry about too much about that. You know what I'm saying? We know it's close though. Right. You know. Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Right. And the demand by the word of the holy ones. Right. To the intent that live like it, that the living may know. That the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Right, meaning the Lord controls men. Yeah, He ruleth in the kingdom of men. Remember, remember, the Potter has power over the clay. That's right. He can he can make you fucking jump off a building if he want to, mm -hmm. or he can make you pray to him if he want to, and everything in between that you can think about. The Lord's controlling all that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads on. It says, and giveth it to whomever he will. Right. And setteth up over it the basis of men. So if the Lord want to take a low life of scum of the earth and set him as ruler over the whole earth, he going to do that. You know? And then when the Lord feels that he's tired of mm -hmm. that man that he set up, there was a low life scumbag to rule the earth. When, he, when he's tired of seeing his face ruling, mm -hmm. the Lord take him down, man. You know, and he'll put somebody up that's more profitable. It's going to actually do good to the earth. You know, and that's a wonderful thing to know. Uh -huh. You know, let's bring out one more, bro. I mean, we can bring out a thousand, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll, we'll bring out one more. Uh -huh. Go, just get um, Isaiah um, 46. 46 and yeah. Isaiah. I mean, we quoted um, Psalm 68 and 20. Uh -huh. All the issues of the Lord, all the issues of death come of the Lord. So, hey, look, uh -huh. the Lord's controlling everything. All spectrums. That's right. Go ahead. So, uh, Isaiah 46 and 10. Yeah. Declaring the end from the beginning. There it is right there. Declaring it. You have a bunch of you know what I'm saying? Look, declared mm -hmm. the end from the beginning, man. What was going to already happen? Go mm -hmm. ahead. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Right. Saying, my counsel shall stand. Whatever the script, whatever the Bible says, it's going to go. It's, it, look, it's already written. His counsel shall stand. 
The counsel of the Lord is his word, his Bible. That's right. You know? And the man is bringing out this word. That's right. Yahweh Shemel counsel is going to stand. These words don't go out void. Mm -hmm. They're going to accomplish everything that he wants them to accomplish, right? That's right. Yahweh Shemel Shai is not a man that they shall lie. Neither the son of man. Shall they say something and not do it? That's right. Go ahead. It says, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. And, and everything that you see going on is the pleasures of Yahweh yep. by Shemiah was shy. Everything that we see, and look, we got to constantly keep that in our head. Everything that we see, we're getting ready to see some rough things. We're getting ready to see some bad things. Uh -huh. A famine is coming, a race riot, up roads of the people. What you say all that, but I'm just uh -huh. saying on a higher degree. You know, it's going to be death on top of death coming, man. Uh -huh. But it's being all orchestrated by the God of the Bible, man. And we just constantly pray to you how about Shemel Shai keep his spirit on us to be able to the knowledge. One more, bro, Isaiah 33 and 6. Because mm -hmm. that was the end of that, right? Right. Yep. We just constantly pray to you how about Shemel Shai keep his spirit on us to be able to maintain and be stable when we start to see more and more of these things happening, man. You know, more police shootings, right? Mm -hmm. More just everything, man. Yep. Constantly pray, brothers. That's right. Go ahead. Isaiah 33 and 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And then you have, but look, from the precepts that we just read, they gave us more knowledge, more wisdom and understanding of who's controlling everything. It says the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable. What's keeping us stable? Knowing that the Lord is controlling everything. That's part of the knowledge. Right. You know, fearing the Lord. That's going to keep you stable. Doing what the Lord commands you to do. Knowing that everything, once again, is written up. You got to remember, everything that's written up in this Bible is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. The Lord is controlling everything. Yeah. That's going to keep you stable, man. Just like Daniel in the lion's den. Just like Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. They knew the Lord was controlling everything. They said, look, look, we'd rather fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemel Shai than men. Because mm -hmm. we know the Lord's going to show us mercy. We're doing what he commands us to do. Mm -hmm. And look, we're doing what he's controlling us to do anyway. And it feels good to be controlled and doing something righteous, man. It, it really does, man. Yep. That's it, bro. Uh, a little bit more. It says, in strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. So in a nutshell, look, just remember that the Lord is controlling everything. Don't forget, uh -huh. you have a bunch of is controlling anything, everything. You know what I'm saying? So, look, ain't no need of us worrying about nothing. Just preach the word. Uh -huh. Preachers preach, teachers teach. What uh -huh. say you? You got any closing statements, bro? Yeah, I just want to say the uh, scriptures say, "Hold your peace, and the Lord will fight for thee." Right. The Lord is fighting for the nation of Israel, starting with with the elect. He's in control of everything. He's in the driver's seat. Right. You know, all we got to do is just hold on. You know. That's right. That's it, bro. Yeah, briefly said, man. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Look, the Lord is controlling everything. Remember that. Shalom.